that this is a requested requested oops, requested video and i'm going to tag the person who requested this video and yeah so i'm going to tell you how you can wing your liner how you can create a wing liner so if you are someone who is watching my video for the very first time please go and subscribe it and don't forget to hit on the bell icon and yeah of course if you want to see how i created this flawless base highlighter blush you need to check my previous videos which i'm going to link in this video and will be available in the suggestions on the top of the screen so please go and check out my previous videos for this base because i've already done everything only eyes and lips are left as i'm dedicating this video entirely for the liner so let's get started guys In this video I'm going to tell you each and every precise details how you can wing your liner what are the different kind of liners which are available in the market what are the what are the textures of different kinds of liners what are the different kinds of brushes like each and everything will be there so you need to stay tuned to the last of the video this will definitely change your wing liner game so there are gel liners cake liners pen liners you can use kajals also to uh, make liner on your eye and uh, along with that there are liquid liners as well in the market but what i prefer and what i suggest my brides and students to use in future is the cake liner because cake liner is something which you have to use with water and in case you go wrong with it you can definitely correct it very easily so this is a cake liner it's powder based that's why i have to spray some water or rose water anything and use it with a brush this is my first and foremost recommendation the gel liners and the pen liners are like little stubborn they are not easy to remove for example you have made this line when you will remove it can you see it's not removing easily and creating creating a patch so please go ahead and buy a cake liner for yourself you can buy from krylon or miss claire both are really nice now quickly coming to the brushes there are different kinds of brushes as you can see here this is an angular brush these all are uh, you know pencil sort of a brush but the thickness is different this is a little thicker and it's hard this is very soft and fine and this is also soft and fine but you can see the uh, different hair are you know they are spread it in different direction so it's it's very difficult to apply with this because they are not in a proper shape like this one so for me i prefer this one from mac whenever you are applying a liner make sure that the brush is soft it's easily uh um, you know can you see it's easily turning like it glides over your eyes make sure that it's soft the brushes are soft so it's very important to make sure of all these things you can use angular brush as well it totally depends on you what kind of brush you want to use what of uh, like how much you are comfortable with what kind of brush so now i am taking this and spraying water simple i'm going to take it okay and the first thing which i have to do is i need to check its tip okay i need to take out the extra and if there is any hair going here and there i need to make that make sure that it's in shape so what you have to do is you need to take this brush and start from the outer corner of your eyes never start from the inner corner because it might happen because there's a fresh product and lot more product here so you might end up having that thick line over here so always you should have a fine line here and the thicker one on the outer edge so i'm starting from here and i am first of all making this line okay so first of all what is important is joining this line it's very important to join this line in any case you feel like you know this is going down or something like that don't worry about it because later on we can correct everything with the concealer and then from here you need to join this line from here to here it's very important to first apply the product with like minimum amount of a product to create a sort of line and later on you can you know intensify it with more product once the proper line is made once the proper uh, shape is done as you can see i am looking in the mirror okay because it's very difficult as you can see first of all i am just uh, using a very i'm making a very thin line 
and after I have done here, then I am moving towards the front part. Can you see? Can you see? I got that shape. I got that shape. Now I will fill in more product to intensify it. This is the wing liner which I created on my eye and it's totally according to my eyelid space. You can keep it thinner, you can keep it more broader depending on how big is your eyelid and how much space you have on your eyelid. Whenever you are uh, doing the wing liner on the other eye, you need to keep a track. Like in between you have to uh, like just look in the mirror on the other eye and then you need to continue with the with this eye because it happens that you end up getting different kinds of liner on both the eyes. Whenever you are applying the liner, if in case anything goes wrong, please don't panic because there's always a solution. That's why I've told you to use the cake liner because cake liners are much easier to clean. So for example, I'm just showing you nothing has gone wrong with my liner, but I'm just showing you like for example, you have not got the perfect eye shape, then what you can do is take the brush which, have, which you have used for applying the foundation or concealer on your face and just clean, just clean it from here. So it will give you that shape. Now I'm quickly going to do my lips. If you want, you can put kajal. I'm not going to put it because uh, my eyes will start looking smaller. I'll just define my brow bones and the inner corners and the lips. That's it. You can use any highlighter to define your brow bone. I'm using any, uh, like I'm using my face highlighter. The one which I use from pack just to define my brow bone and the inner corner of my eyes and of course the mascara. guys I have used the same shade to fill up uh, my lips and then over it I will fill this shade and it's from PAC retro matte gloss in the shade 30 and this is a peachy shade and I really like this one so over it I'm going to fill this So guys, this is the lip shade and I am actually loving it. I know you guys are also loving it. So all the details I will be mentioning in the description box below. You can go check it out by, you know, recreate this look. And this is my final look with the winged liner. And I hope you like it guys. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like my video, share it and comment.